Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. We have an intermediate full body mat work class. So let's go ahead. Come join me on a mat. We're going to start the class lying on our back. So let's go ahead. Lying supine. Arms long spot aside and let's take a moment here to set ourselves. Have your feet parallel positioned, knees bent, pointing up to the ceiling. Your pelvis in a comfortable neutral position and the lower spine is just floating off the floor. The middle back and the upper back just resting on the floor. Your neck is floating off the floor and your head is just reaching away from the shoulders. Reaching the arms long by the side of your body and reaching the fingertips towards your feet. We inhale through the nose. Then as you exhale, I want you to draw in that deep abdominal muscle and go ahead and lengthen the lower back down to the floor. So you're creating a little scoop sensation in the abdominal and go ahead and press the feet, roll the spine up to our pelvic curl and to the breaching position. We inhale at the top, feeling the length of the spine, reaching your thigh bone away from the hip joint. Then as we exhale, we roll the spine down, articulating every single segment of the vertebrae down to the floor and return yourself back to that neutral pelvis position and spine in breath. Exhale, really try to access from the abdominal, not by squeezing your glute to curl the pelvis up, and then firmly press the feet down as you continue to peel the spine off the floor. So take this exercise as a little massage for the spine and exhale, we roll down, creating a deep flexion in each joint of the vertebra and come back to the floor again. Exhale, we roll up, reaching long through the spine. Inhale, exhale, we roll down, imprinting the spine down to the floor and back to the neutral pelvis and spine position. Exhale, we roll up again. At this time, I want you to float your arms up to the sky and continue overhead and keep the arms overhead here as we exhale we roll down the spine away from the arms but i want you to reach the arms away from the spine at the same time and release the pelvis back to the starting position and stay low in the spine inhale exhale go ahead and roll back up again reaching the sitting bone towards your knees the pubic bone drawing towards the belly button and an exhale, we roll back down, imprinting every single segment of that vertebrae down to the floor. Let's do one more time. Exhale, we roll up, we peel up, 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 up. Can we press the feet a little bit more to the floor and then lift the pelvis a notch higher here? So you feel more of the hamstrings and your glute activating. Then exhale, we roll down as you lengthen the neck away from the shoulders and take yourself all the way back to the floor. Release the arms up to the sky and bring it down by the side of your pelvis. Let's do one more pelvic curl. We roll up the pelvis up to that breach. Press the arms more to the floor and lift the pelvis higher. Now lift the leg closer to me up to the table top. We hold that. Exhale, we roll the spine back down. So let's do single leg pelvic curl in breath. Exhale, we roll up again. Press up to that breathing position in breath. Exhale, we roll down back to the floor again in breath. Exhale, we roll back up to that breathing position in breath. Exhale, roll down. Last one and exhale, roll up again. Lower the foot down. Reestablish that pelvis position. Make sure the left and the right are even. Bring the other leg up to the table top. We roll the spine down. 
and exhale we roll back up again press down with the feet as we lift the pelvis high in breath exhale we roll down and again in breath exhale we roll up and in breath exhale we roll down we've got one more coming up i promise and we roll back up again we lower the feet down we establish the pelvis reaching the thighs away from the hip joint now let's go ahead and roll the spine all the way back down to the floor and then we circle the arms interlace the fingers place the hands to the back of the head for our chest lift here i want you to firmly press your feet down to the floor and have a sensation that you're dragging your feet towards your pelvis to activate the muscle of the back of your thighs elbows off the floor we in breath exhale as we lengthen the spine down we lift the chest up to the chest lift inhale we grow a little taller exhale we come down again exhale we lift i want you to really try to flatten that lower back down but try to keep it long on the floor use the abdominal and not by squeezing your bottom and exhale we come down again exhale deep lift in abdominal as you come up in breath exhale and come down two more times exhale we lift 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 in breath exhale now the next one we're going to stay up here and exhale we lift we stay extend the leg closer to me slide it down on the floor as we inhale reach flex the foot and come back the other side reach flex the foot keep the pelvis stable and come back in and reach exhale and reach slide exhale it helps if you come up a little higher in the chest and lift i know it feels a little higher but it actually helps to stabilize your center a little bit more and if your chest can come up a little higher off the floor and pull it in one more side reach exhale pull in last one reach exhale pull in stay grab the back of your thighs don't come down just yet lift the chest a little higher when you think you want to give up no we're going to lift up even more hold that new high interlace the hands back at the rotation to me come back and over other side come back exhale come back and twist come back and twist pelvis is still stable rotate from the waist and center and and center and one more each side and and come back to the center grab the back of your thigh lift up a little higher hold now we're going to straighten the leg one point the foot straighten two point the foot legs together take your arms down by the side can we do a roll up here yes we can pull in there we go and into that beautiful c curve round back and long neck then we roll back get that sacrum down to the floor and imprint that lower spine down and take the arms overhead again inhale high chest lift gaze forward and we go into that c curve in breath exhale pull back curl sacrum lower back and arms overhead again inhale lift. exhale come up and over to that c curve in breath exhale we go down 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 and arms overhead let's do one more time and then we got rolling like a ball in breath exhale up 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 to that c curve now i want you to roll just 20 percent back squeezing the inner thighs and drag the feet towards you 
for that rolling like a ball. We find our balance here. We lock the legs with the arms strength. Then we roll back as we inhale. Exhale, balance. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, balance. Inhale, making sure that you do not fling the legs away. Use your biceps to keep the legs nice and calm. And three, and back, and two, and back. Last one, we stay balanced here. Now, can we bring the hands behind your leg, behind your, on your calf, straighten the legs up to the sky, find your balance, sit, dig deep into the abdominal, find length through the spine, stay for three, two, one, we bend the knees to a tabletop position. Now hands to the back of the knee. We roll back away from your thighs. Get that spine down to the floor in a chest lift position. Pull the knees in. Straighten the arms down by the side. Straighten the legs long. Ready for the hundreds. We inhale. We exhale. And in. Two, three, four, five. Shh, 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 shh. Keep those legs nice and long. If the diagonal angle is too challenging for your abdominal, you can have your legs up to the ceiling. That's fine and rich. So just find an angle that works for you best today. It's a bit challenging, you know, you gotta challenge yourself, but somewhere through to your abdominal strength. Shh, shh. And I'm thinking as I breathe out, I'm trying to pull my abs a little bit deeper to my spine. As I inhale, I'm trying to lengthen and lift away. Always reaching your toes long. One more set. Stay, drag the knees in. Lower both feet down, straighten one, straighten two. Guess what? Turn the palms in, roll up, pull up. Oh, it's always a challenge after the hundreds. And we made it. Okay, round back and lift the spine up tall. Bend the knee closer to me, ready for our climber tree. So this exercise is taken from the equipment series. So we go, get the back nice and tall, compress. Two, three, we straighten the leg, we elongate the spine here, and then we curl the lower abdominal, we walk the hand down for three, two, one. Let go of the arms, bring overhead, then lift the head and the chest up again, grab the back of your thigh, we walk up, one, two, three, Lengthening through the crown of the head and reaching the toes like an arrow, shooting out in the opposite direction. And we bend the knee. Again, compress the hip. Three, two, one. Inhale, reach long. And exhale, roll down. One, two, three. Arms overhead. And lift up. And walk. Two, three. Elongate tall. We bend the knee, last one, exhale, two, three, inhale, reach, exhale, walk and roll, down, one, two, three, arms overhead, and walk up again, walk one, two, three, lift, bend the knee, slide the leg away, we got the other leg to go, and here we go. Find your long spine and we compress. Two, three, inhale, reach long. Walk it down, left arm, right arm, left arm, arms overhead, lift up. And we walk three, two, one, elongate and reach the leg away. And we bend, compress, two, three, and reach out. We walk down, two, three, arms overhead, and we roll up, 
We walk one, two, three, lengthened away. We bend the knee one more time, please. We compress three, two, one, and reach away. And we roll three, two, one, arms overhead. Lift up and walk one, two, now three, lift and lengthen. And we're gonna keep that leg straight. Bring the other leg up, separate them for the open leg rocker. So our back is ready, our legs are reaching long. Okay, here we go. We roll back and then we come forward. We balance and inhale, roll and come up, balance. Inhale, go into that spinal flexion here. Now feel light as you arrive back to that V-shape again. Back and and up, balance. Let's do three more, back and up, balance. And two more. Reach forward and up to the sky. Last one, legs are forward, spine and up to the sky. We stay. Find more balance. Now we're gonna stay here. Dorsiflex your feet. We're gonna take your hands off, your arms off. Then balance, and then we lower the legs down, 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 and sit upright. Arms out to the T position for our soul. Okay, let's go rotate to me. Arms, and reach forward. Arms back to the side. Open the arms and center, rotate to you. Arms. Forward hinge and back to the side and center and twist up and forward hinge and up. Open center and twist up and forward hinge and up. Open center. Last set here and up. Now forward hinge. I'm going to stay here and I want to keep that spine rather long. Now, one, two, two, just give me one second. I just put up the, okay, receiver. Now from here, keep the spine long, lean forward and pulse forward. Pull the belly in, two, three, four, five. Come up, back arm to the side, open the arms and rotate. Arms, hinge forward, now we stay here. Now we're going to lean and pull the abs in. And we go, two, three, four, five, come up, back arm to the side, open the arms and center. Well done, lower the arms, bring the legs together for your back support. Now, have your hands, fingertips pointing towards the bottom or you, if you need to, you can actually go to the side if you're feeling a little tight in your pectoral, the front of the chest. All right, have your heels slightly apart. Now from here, press down with the heels and the hands, lift the pelvis up, open the chest, gaze up, slightly diagonally to the ceiling. Now folding through the hip, keep the back nice and long, lower the pelvis down, just touching, and then we're gonna bounce up again. Press, and folding through the hip, just touching. And then we're gonna bounce out again. Left. And hinges down. Again. And lift. And hinges down. Two more. And lift. And hinges down. Last one. And lift. And hinges down. All right, just flip your body facing me. Okay, for our side kick, we're going to on, we're going onto our elbow here in that triangle position. We're gonna lift the underneath rib cage and then bring the other hand behind you, okay? Making sure that you don't sink in the shoulder. I want you to press the shoulder into the armpit girdle and pulling the armpit girdle into the rib cage and into the waistline here. Top leg comes up. And we go flex forward, inhale, exhale, inhale, and three more, stabilize here, two more, last one, back, back 
come back to the center. Let's do some leg circle. We're going to go back, up, and forward, and two, up, and forward, three. Draw a circle with your toes. Four. Last one here. Then reverse and forward, back, around, and two, back, around, and three, back, around. Last four. Back around we hold. Now we're gonna swing the leg over to the other side and we'll do it again all over. Okay, so we got your side kick and then we got your rond de jambe or your leg circle. Lift, take the top leg up, dorsi flex, and we go shh, shh, inhale, and shh, shh, inhale. Remember to lift the underneath waistline, stabilize that center here. It helps you thinking about lengthening the spine. So pulling the crown of the head away from the pelvis. Two more. Last one. Back, back, and let go. Circle, forward, up, around, and two, around, and three, Around, I did one backward first, four. So I'm reversing now. All right, we're gonna go the other way. And around, and two. At least we do both sides. Then three, and four. And let's do an extra one. Come back, and let's come up onto our quadruped here. We've got more glutes coming. All right, now. Align your heel of the palm to center of the shoulder and the knee and the hip joint here. Pulling up the deep TVA muscle here, bringing the leg closer to me. Foot comes off and lift the knee up for your hip extension with the knee bent position and lower and lift. Stabilize the pelvis. Three. Let's do 10 here. Four. And five. And six, keep the spine long. And seven. And eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. We go to the side. Out. One. And two. And three. I'm gonna just turn myself. And four. It's got a better angle here, the camera. Five. And six. Seven and eight, two more, nine, last one, ten. Now here we're going to do some hip circles. So we're going to take the leg up again, open to the side and down and up, side and down and three. Just going to do five, one direction in reverse, four, side and four. Five, then the other direction to the side, back and in. Two, back and three and back and four, back. Last one, five and back. Now here, cross the knee onto the other knee, above or on top of the other knee. Sit the pelvis back to your heels, reach the spine away, and come back to your quadruped position. All right, we're going to do the other side. All right, we got the knee bent, hip extension. We go up and folding, and two, and folding, and three. Now imagine you are a table, right? Your spine is long and you have a cup of tea and your lunch resting on your back. So I want that table to be in absolute stability so we can hold that lunch meal for you. Last one here, lifting up and to the side, open and two, on three, Four, neck long, 
five. Try to really push the floor away with the hand. Six, seven, <clears throat> eight. Two more. Last one. And we got the leg circle. We go, <coughs> excuse me, up to the side. And down. So five of this. Two. So if you are a marker, if you have a marker on your knee, we're going to draw a circle with that knee behind you. Last one here. Then reverse to the side. Circle up, down, and side. Two. Circle up down and three two more four up down and five then we're going to cross that knee on top or behind the other knee sit the pelvis back reach the arms away then come back recover let's go on to our front Lying on our belly, bring the hands underneath the forehead, stack the right palm on top of the left, elbows wide, legs reaching away, pulling up the abdominal to lengthen the lower spine. And then gliding the shoulder blades down for our diamond press, back extension as we inhale. Bringing the chest up, neck is long, gaze is slightly forward on the mat, and down. And in breath, to left. Exhale, to return. In breath, we left. Exhale, we return. One more. Inhale, lift. Feeling that middle back muscle working to lift the upper trunk. Now here, we'll do the same, but this time the arms, we're going to stick the arms with your forehead. So the arms come up and come down and inhale the arms come up exhale come down and two more look and come down last one we're going to stay up here open the arms up to a t position turn the thumbs up to the sky palms facing forward now from here lift the arms and squeeze that shoulder blade four five and four three, two, one, lower the chest, turn the palms down and lower the arms down with you. Now we're going to lift up again, draw that shoulder blades down, lift the upper back, lift the arms up with you, turn the thumbs up to the sky and we lift up, two, three, four, last five, Turn the palms down, bend the elbows, hands underneath the forehead, lower down. Bring the forearm to the side of your shoulders. Push the floor away, round the back. Curl the pelvis down towards the heels. And for the rest position, then come back to your quadruped position. We got our front support here. So going to our quadruped again. We're going to lift that lower abdominal up so our lower spine is lengthened. Now stretch the leg closer to me out. Tuck the toes under. Pick up the belly. Keep the spine nice and long. Second leg up. Tuck the toes under. Now pull the right knee into forward and release. Forward. Change leg. Right. And. Left. And. Right. And. Left. Three, two, one more, and stay, pull that belly in, stay in this front support position for five, four, three, two, one, bring the knee down, one, bring the knee down, two, Bring yourself up to a kneeling position. We have our thigh stretch to finish. Take the arms forward. Work that hip extension. Pick up the lower abs here. Now, pressing the arms down to the imaginary table. We go, lift the abdominal, lean back from the knee joint. We're gonna keep this nice and stable and come up and release again. Press down to lift the lower abdominal up, lean back, 
and come back. And release three more times. Exhale. How low, no, how low, how back can you go? And release two more times. And press and lean, lean, gaze is forward and come down. Last one. Press and lean, 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 lean and come down. Sit the pelvis back to the heels, stretch your arms forward for our rest position again. We're just going to breathe here. Allow the breath to calm the body down, to lower your heart rate down. In breath and long exhalation. One more. As we exhale, we roll the spine up, 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 and sitting nice and tall. Boom. Well done. High five through the screen. Well done. Thank you for doing the whole class with me. You're a star. Stay mobile. Keep yourself hydrated for today. And I will see you back on the mat tomorrow for another class. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.